Hi everyone. So the problem that we have now uh, has the input table as man of the match 2004 that is MOM 2004 and these are the various columns that it has match number man of the match player and match op opponent. So what do we see here is in the man of the match player there are certain entries which are having null values and which indicates that the same player got the man of the match in the next uh, match as well. So in the output, what we have to do is we have to replace the null values with the previous uh, player name in the previous match. Okay, this is what we have to do. So like uh, in the third match, we have to replace null by Saurav Ganguly as he was the man of the match in the second match, the previous match. And similarly for match number seven and eight, uh, we have to replace the man of the match player name with Sachin Tendulkar as he was a uh, man of the match in the previous match, that is uh, match number six. So this is one of our generic uh, problems where whenever like we have to replace uh, nulls with the previous value, uh, we can uh, use this approach. So now let us see what approach can we follow to come to this output. Okay, so we will, uh, I will just copy this input data into an Excel sheet and uh, we will discuss on the approach that we will take to reach to the final solution. So we will do a two step process. Okay, as a first step, what we will do is we will create a group number. Okay, so how this group number uh, will be formed is it will start uh, going. Uh, match by match it will start scanning through the man of the match player and it will count the column name okay it will be kind of kind of a if you talk about the implementation it will be kind of a window function that we are going to use uh, we will use a count over this uh, over this column okay and we will order by the match number so uh, the count will be one here then it will be two here as this column has value since this is not having value, it will remain 2. Okay. And then this will be 3, 4, 5. And this will remain 5. And then 6 and 7. So, as we know that whenever we use count function with a column name, say column 1, how it behaves is it will not count the value if there is null in it. It will consider only the, only the values where there is a certain content in it and not null. So uh, if we apply this uh, count window function, this is how it will behave. So kind of we will have a grouping that will be formed. So what this grouping will indicate is the particular group values should remain same. Okay, so this will be uh, this is our first step. So let's try to achieve this first step. Then uh, we will talk about how to proceed further. Okay, so. So let's write the SQL query to achieve the first step. So what we will do is uh, we will take this as our input and uh, we will uh, use let's uh, have all the columns preserved and we will write a, a window function for the count and we will use the count column as MOM player. Okay, and then uh, we will specify the window and window is ordered by the match number. And let's uh, call this column as group number. Okay, I'll just run this uh, along with the input uh, table. This is what we have got. Okay, so like we discussed uh, in the Excel sheet, uh, we have achieved whatever was our first step. Okay, okay, so till here we are good. Now, uh, talking about the next step. So as we discussed, like uh, each of this uh, will be kind of a single group. Okay, I'll especially focus on this uh, null values. Okay, especially focus on this null null values, which will be a separate group. I'll highlight this with different color, maybe. Okay, so and this will be a different group. Okay, so now what we are saying is for these groups, we want the uh, man of the match players to be of the same name so uh, this nulls to be replaced by the first value okay the very starting value should be used across 
the following rows so here uh, here what we can do is for each of these groups we need to pick the first value in this column okay and if i will form one column man of the match player uh, uh, fix maybe i'll say or uh, required i'll say required okay man of the match player required so what we will do is uh, for the normal ones it will be the same uh, where where we have only one entry but for the groups where there are more than one entry it will be like it will pick the first value okay for each and everything it will pick the first value even for this it will be like the first value so we will kind of apply the uh, first value uh, first value uh, function we will use and uh, and it will be kind of a window function uh, here also okay so even for this it will be like first value for this group so for this group the first value is such in general curve so for each of this row it will pick this value similarly here the first value for this this will be a single group sorry so for this it will be first value is this so it will pick here the same thing okay so if we achieve this we get the final result that we are looking for okay so now let's try to implement this in the query so what we can do is we have this as the data now what we can do is let's uh, make it as a cte okay we will form it as a ct say match a ct as this value and uh, we will work on this okay match ct so on this match ct now what we have to do is uh, let's first of all uh, have the same structure maintained so we need match number and we need match opponent as the last column so what we are left with is the man, man the match player column this is what we need now to be fixed okay so we are operating on on this uh, data that we are seeing here down so we are operating on this and now we, we will try to uh, fix fix it okay so we will try to get this uh, man of the match player uh, in the required uh, format okay so we will use the first value uh, first value uh, method and first value we will apply it on the mom player column as we said it will be a window function and we will do a grouping based on this values okay it will be so it will be like partition by the group number okay and ordered based on the ordered based on the match number why the ordering is needed so that like uh, the first value only will get picked so among this group only this uh, first if it is ordered by uh, the match number it will pick the value from the uh, match number 6 from uh, from this column mom player so once we have this uh, we have achieved the solution so mom player and then this is our final uh, query and i will run entire thing uh, together along with input okay so there is some ah there is a comma missing writing a comma and rerunning it okay so we have achieved uh, what was required so like in the third match uh, it has been replaced by saurav ganguly in the seventh and eighth match uh, it has been replaced by sachin tendulkar and i think there is one more entry for, for match number 9 and 10 so even for this it has been replaced by rahul dravid so uh, if there is any uh, scenario wherein like uh, if we want our uh, following rows where there is null to be replaced with the uh, value value row that is uh, in the earlier rows so we can follow this approach okay so i'll just show the entire solution together okay so what we have done um, like uh, we discussed we have first found the count and try to identify the group number and this group number basically indicated that which player should be uh, which which player should be uh, basically be named for that group okay so basically we have uh, identified the group so once we have identified the group it has it is very easier after that we have to just uh, take the first value from there and uh, populate it in all the other uh, other rows that are present so this way uh, we have achieved the final uh, output and uh, this way we can solve this problem 
so hope this helps uh, you can go through the solution and if you have any alternate solution uh, you can please uh, mention the same in the comments and if you if you found this uh, video useful please like the video and please subscribe the channel thank you